Bao Fangs come in all sorts of boxes. This one is the blue and white box. Fujijan Bao Fang Electronics Company Limited from China. And this is the UV5R Plus with an FCC ID of 2AJGM-UV5R for those of you that are playing along at home. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're gonna take a look at everybody's favorite, the Baofeng. This is a UV5R Plus. UV5R Plus Plus, if you really look deep. Let's go do it. The FCC ID does in fact match what's on the box. So that's a good start. Of course, it won't power on without a battery. So let's take a look at what battery we get. We have a, can you read that? Can we do that? Is that a thing? There we go. 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour, 13.32 watt hour battery. This is the BL5. This is a short battery. They do make a battery that's about twice as long as this, but it doesn't seem to add the amount of capacity that you think. So it's one of these and then maybe enough room for two of these down below. So you'd think that it would go from 1800 to considerably higher, like 4,500 or something like that, but it only goes to like 3000. But we will take a look at that when we have another Baofeng to play with that does have the extended battery on it. For now, the battery goes in great. It just slides right in and clips in place. And there you go. We have the typical rubber duck antenna. This is the cheap stock antenna that these things here do in fact come with. And we'll test out what this antenna looks like, but it does say FM 136 through 174, 400 through 520 megahertz. So that'll be good for all of the frequencies and all of the harmonics that this thing is supposed to produce. Let's get that screwed in. In the box, we get an owner's manual. I'm not expecting much. Let me see if I am disappointed. Thank you for purchasing. Thank you, you're welcome. Features, fairly thick, it's got a lot of stuff in it so far. Tells you what the keys are, tells you what the things are. What I'm looking for is like how to program a repeater. Technical specs, troubleshooting, warranty, and then we change languages. So your manual is only really that thick, not that thick, because the other ones are all just different languages. I mean, let's, let's go over some of the things you can do with the radio in the manual, not just all the things that you can kind of already figure out just by pushing buttons by yourself. Yep, not a whole lot in the manual. Some packing material. Be a VIP. Follow us to get coupons. And it's another thank you card. To check your product authenticity, scan the QR code or contact email support. What else would that QR code say besides this is authentic? And then we get our top secret agent FBI earpiece. Microphone cover. Oh, no, that's an earphone cover. That goes on the earphone there. I have never used one of these microphones and earpieces. If you have, leave a comment down below because I think they're they're sending us these and none of us actually use them, but I could be wrong. And then that is it in the box. All right, I know what you guys are all waiting for. We got to see if this thing is dirty or not. This is my tiny SA Nano VNA kit. There will be a link up there for a video about this, but what I need is my 40 dB attenuator so I don't blow up my tiny SA. I need my tiny SA. I need a cable and probably an adapter here. And I'm gonna hook it directly into the low port. Let's get zoomed in on the screen so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we have the Baofeng on 146.52. And if I look at menu, transmit power, I'm gonna set this to high menu exit. And now it's saved at high power and there's no L on the display up there. And then let's get over to our friend at the Tiny SA. All right, here we go. There's not a lot of distance between the camera and the screen here. This ought to be fun. Okay, so I want to go in and I want to do measure harmonic of 146.52 megahertz. And then I want to display draw line minus 16.02 times one. So, you know, no multipliers or anything on there. And then I want to do a level external gain of minus 40 times one to account for the attenuator. And now we are ready to key up. If I key up on the radio, it takes a little bit for it to figure itself out and get itself all settled down. And there we can see our primary signal is somewhere above 30 dB. And our secondary signal displayed by marker two is below that blue line of minus 16.02, which is the second requirement of the harmonics test. And the first requirement is that it's gotta be minus 40 dB below the primary. So there you go. This radio is clean. All right, next up, we need to check out the antenna. So I'm gonna need a couple of tools and a couple of adapters. So I need to get something in between the radio and the antenna to do some measurement. And that, 
is going to be my Surecom Professional Equipment Production Short. And we're gonna need our ground plane. So let's get this thing all configured and hooked up. And then we need to adapt our SMA to SO239. So I've got that adapter right here. And then we need to adapt our other SMA connector to PL259 to connect it into the other side of the measuring device. This isn't cumbersome at all. All right, so we need to power on and we will measure our power output and we will measure our SWR. So first off, let's do menu, transmit power, and it says transmit power low. So we have 2.05 watts at 2.3, 2.4, SWR 1.92 at 2.4 on low power on 146.52. Let's change our transmit power to high. And then focus. 4.26 watts, 2.47 to one SWR. Okay, let's switch over to 446. And we'll do a power on high test. 4.47 watts, 1.02 to one SWR. So the antenna is better on 446. Let's change our power to low. One point three watts, one point two five watts, one point two seven watts at one point oh four to one SWR. Not bad. All right, the UV five R plus plus gets the seal of approval. It is clean. The only thing I would urge you to do is get yourself a better antenna, perhaps a super elastic signal stick, which supports our friends over at Ham Study and Exam Tools and gets people on the air because that's gonna rob some power from you on your transmit. 440 was fantastic, a 1.0 something to one SWR is good. Full power out on 440 on 70 centimeters. Usually they don't do full power out on 70 centimeters and usually they don't do full rated power. This is probably advertised as a five watt, but I bet if you look in the manual, it probably says four watts somewhere. So take it with a grain of salt, but for the price that you pay for a Baofeng, you cannot really be all that upset. I mean, I guess you can, but for 25 bucks, it's gonna cost you more to return it. So you might as well keep it and find something to do with it. If you want to know what you can do with a two meter radio, there is a live stream I will link up at the top there where we all got together as a community and tried to figure it out. Give you a hint, there is a ton of things you can do. Talk to satellites, direction finding, talk to friends down the street, do digital pictures back and forth, all kinds of fun stuff you can do with one of these guys. As always, if you need more information on any of the tools that I showed in this video, there will be links in the description down below. While you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button because I like that stuff. There is a video right up here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.